Hello my wonderful friends, Megus with you on a beautiful day in Asha and I'm so excited. Today we're doing Asha 10 and this is the gateway to first circle magic. The statement says, what energy am I really? That's an important question each one of us must ask ourselves because what vibration you are really holding is the world you are really going to create. And so we must ask ourselves, what energy am I really? And my friends, if you can grasp this, it's going to open the door to first circle magic. What is first circle magic? It's a shield of protection around you, my friends. If you think about it, God cannot get sick, right? God is health. And if you and God are one, you cannot get sick. If you are divine life, death cannot enter. If you are light, darkness cannot enter and it's it's creating this this protective field around you by the vibration that you're holding and this is going to teach you how to do that my friends it says there are two kinds of contraries one whose differences are of function i'm going to explain to you what all this means stay with me uh, such as hot and cold high and low light and heavy full and empty, which work together in harmony. Now get this, then there are contraries of substance which cannot combine, such as good and evil, love and hate, health and sickness, truth and lie, and life and death. Now understand this, my friends, all the matrix religions teach this completely different, and that's why the world looks the way it is. They put God, the good spirit, and the evil spirit on a continuum and then they try to use as an example uh, what you see in nature such so picture a continuum it's a line and at one end is hot and one end is cold okay so where on that line that continuum does hot turn into cold you can't find it because it's just different degrees of the same thing it's temperature right okay and, and you could do that with different things color put black at one end white at one end. Where on the line, the continuum, does it go from black to white? You can't find it because it's just different shades of the same thing. And this is what the matrix religions teach that God is. They, they say that good spirit and evil spirit are in a continuum and, and it's just different, uh, you know, levels. And, and so God sometimes, uh, he can do evil spirit things like hate, war, kill, destroy, or he can do good spirit things, love, be at peace, be at joy, be kind. Yeah, and there's just these different degrees, but, but they call, uh, you know, good spirit, evil spirit, the same thing. And my friends, that is absolute blasphemy. And you will always, your world will always look like that. If the God you accepted into your heart of hearts and that's the vibration you're holding. That's your highest principle of good. Does good sometimes, does bad sometimes. Love sometimes, hate sometimes. Peace sometimes, war sometimes. Health sometimes, sickness sometimes. That's what your world is going to look like. It's going to be mixed, my friends. And that's, that's what the Zoroastrians are trying to show you. That's what the Masters try to teach you. What the Christ came to show you, my friends. That God is all good. God and good are the same things my friends. And so we have to differentiate that, you know, and I understand yin and yang. We get that hot, cold, right? High, low. That's beautiful. Uh, but you can't put uh, good spirit and evil spirit in that. You can't put health and sickness in that because when, when health comes, sickness disappears, right? You can't put life and death because uh, when you're alive, there's no death. They're, they can't be on the same continuum, my friends. And so that's the first thing you have to understand. And, and why, my friends? Because we're not looking at what's around us. We create the atmosphere. And right now, what we see around us is mixed. I understand it, but it's because uh, of the matrix religions, the matrix politics, the matrix idea of society, the matrix idea of God, the matrix idea of who you are, the matrix idea of government and their role. And my friends, now the world looks this way. But if we change the vibration, we separate good spirit from evil spirit, and we hold only good. We know 
only good, only God, only love, peace, joy, kindness. We don't let what's going on around us change our vibration. We then change the atmosphere, my friends. We do not bow down to form and matter. Why? Because spirit makes form. Remember what we learned in the very first Asha, that, that behind all the particles is just energy, is spirit, is mind. And, and so we know we can change the form and matter with the spirit and mind we hold. So we're going to hold a, a higher spirit and uh, mind, a new mind, my friends. And when you honor that supremacy of the all good spirit of Asha, the highest truth, you control form and matter and that my friends is magic so beautiful so ask yourself what energy are you really what energy are you creating with my friends it's not what you want that's coming to you it's what you are what you vibrate and and my friends sin sorrow sickness disease death flees before the highest truth asha and that is first circle magic so beautiful it says for when the truth is told the lie is exposed for what it is nothing it's not real it's not substance remember it's not that real above all real and when the truth comes out the light comes out the the lie goes away the darkness goes away where health is sickness is not to be found it's like turning on a light in a dark room there's no big fight the light just fills the room and the darkness is gone truth reverses the evidence of material sense every quality and condition of mortality is lost and swallowed up in immortality when we take into us the highest truth asha my friends be honest with yourself don't try to hide the sin and error. You know, Jesus talked about it, that the Pharisees, they would clean up the outside of the vessel, but the inside was filthy, dirty. We're almost trained in the matrix religions, put on a nice suit, a nice tie, act like a good person, but inside they're full of sin. Uh, we need to take care of what's on the inside. Don't cover up sin and error. Shine that light in there and expose it and remove it, my friends. It says again ask yourself what energy am i am i love or hate because that's now what you're in resonance entrainment remember what we learned you're in resonance for whatever you're holding you're going to either bring in more love or more hate do i bring peace or discord do i hold joy or trouble am i fearful and doubting and worrying take an honest look inside is your energy good are evil the energy of the seed of a tree will produce a tree the energy of the seed of an animal will produce an animal the energy of the seed of the good mind will produce good the energy of the seed of the evil energy will produce evil it didn't ask you again here it says so again ask yourself it's so important my friends ask yourself be honest with yourself what energy am i really what vibration feeling emotion do i hold that's what will manifest in your world. That's the consciousness you take to the next world. So find God, the highest principle of good, right now. Be love, be peace, be joy, be good God now, my friends. It says today is the day of salvation. Envelop yourself in God's idea. What is God's idea? It's Asha. It's the perfect idea. And this is our, our mantra today. I am love. I am life. I am peace. I am joy. I am one with my good, my God. And evil cannot enter me. Why? Because evil cannot enter God. Sickness cannot enter God. And, and my friends, you realize you're one with God. That's the alchemy, two becoming one. You and God are one now. Hold that vibration and watch your world and life change. And, and uh, remember, our key is to thank God, think good, think Asha, know only Asha, vibrate only Asha. And then, of course, the Zoroastrian Creed to live consciously. Good thoughts, good words and good deeds. My friend, today, take control of every thought. Don't give away your power to anyone. Don't let them control how you feel or how you vibrate, my friends. You control the air. You rule the air. You rule the atmosphere by holding Asha, by holding the idea, the perfect creator's perfect idea, and realizing, my friends, that good spirits, all good, he has no attributes of the evil spirit. You've been lied to. You've been deceived. You've been duped to keep you in slavery, keep you bound, break free. No, God is all good. Align yourself with that all good energy and create all good Asha in your world. How beautiful, how simple, my friends. I love you so much. Are you enjoying these 
please share them with as many people as you can. We're going to 16. I'm so I can't wait to get to 16. 16 is so beautiful. You're gonna love, love, love it. All right, my friends. We'll see you next time.